All right, Shalom. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We're going to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone and honor to all you fellow laborers that are enduring afflictions to bring out this word in sincerity and in faith. Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Kwadash Raka, Baraka Thumb. To all you sincere listeners. Okay, so we're going to go into a lesson based off of, you know, something I stumbled across earlier. Got some simple ass nigga. Dude, it's pretty, he might be a tear. You know, uh, from the Jew 3 project, Know What You Believe and Why. And the title is 10 Things to Study Before Engaging Black Hebrew Israelites. So pretty much what you see is they got like a support group to come against us, man. And you're not, not going to see this uh, concerning Buddhists, all right, Muslims, because it's, it's billions of uh, Muslims, right? Ain't Muslims, they supposed to be terrorists. But ain't nobody trying to get at their doctrine. They want to get at the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, which is being taught by the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. All right, on down. So I'm going to read a little bit, and then, you know, brothers, hit, hit, hit precepts whenever spirit hits you. Ten things to study before engaging black Hebrew Israelites. As Christian apologists, we are called to defend the hope we have within us, 1 Peter 3 and 15. However, we must do this strategically and not ignorantly. Many times, well-meaning believers seek out malefician arguments or renegade crusades without adequately preparing themselves through study. If I can say this yeah. about and uh, you know, we uh, a lot of us grew up in that um in that Christianity shit, and that, that the spirit of studying was never, you know what I mean, pushed. Yeah. But coming up against us now, what we pushing these uh these wacky tacky Christians to try to dig deeper, you know? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the spirit is uh the spirit that we have on us is forcing you to go hard in the paint now, you know? Yep. Before you was just in there singing and dancing, being a simple ass nigga looking at looking at the chick with her titties popping out. Okay. You know? Alright, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Revelation 1 and 3. Yeah, yeah, bring it out. Blessed is he that readeth. Okay. Yeah, blessed is he that readeth. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it's a blessing for you to for you to read these scriptures, man. Yeah, and, and what you find out is the majority of uh, a majority of these Christians, they don't read their Bible, man. Because like the brother said, they're not encouraged to. Are you, they're all about trusting in their pastor who's ripping them off. Yeah, might, might, be, might be banging his daughter. I mean, doing, doing the most, man. It says, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Yeah, and hear the words of the prophecy, which is spiritual, because 2018 is what? Yeah, the a year of prophecy. prophecy. All right. Yeah. Brothers, got any precepts? Out of precepts. Okay. We don't go, we don't go around. Yeah. It's John 15 and 18. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Uh-huh. If you were of the world, the world would love its own, but because you are of... But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Yeah, and the world hates us. Yeah, and this is a this is an example. Yeah. Okay, you got you got this is pretty much a support group, man. Yeah, hate group. Yeah, yeah. They're calling us a black Hebrew Israelite cult, which really cult just means worship. Yeah. When you, when you look it up, America. I mean, you got all types of cults in America. Oh, you got American Idol. That's a cult. Okay, you got uh, hip hop. You got underground hip hop. That's a cult. You got niggas. Oh no, nah, I don't. I, I, won't, I won't rock with Kendrick no more. He went. He went mainstream. Cause he's in a damn cult, man. The guy's in a cult. Okay, but we we worship the true power. All right, in, in spirit and in truth. Okay, so that's so so that's what separates us, and that's why everybody hates us, man. That's why they that's why they coming against us. That's why they got this little this little support group, man. Yeah. It's like alcohol is a nom. A nom hey, have you, have you given in? Have you given in to alcohol? Here, here are the ten. They got a ten step. They got a ten step program to <laughs> cover against the truth. Yeah, how to deal with an Israelite? Pretty much how to deal with y'all with call, man. Yeah. You say they say you speak condescendingly. <laughs> speak condescendingly. Oh, you got to go in the Hebrew. Yeah, you got. It says, are you are you are you well versed in the Hebrew? <laughs> Why? Because brothers are in the Hebrew, man. Yep. Pretty much, if you go into everything this guy's saying, you can become an Israelite. Yeah. Cause you or you bug out, you bug out, or you become an Israelite, man. Yeah, it's one of the two. Yeah, because if you if you want, they're saying it's Second Timothy, right? Going in, 15. yeah, two and fifteen about, about being being well studied, and they uh -huh. say that, that the Hebrew Israelites are well studied. Uh huh. You know, so so in order for you to deal with the Hebrew Israelites, you have to be well studied, man. Yep. You gotta you gotta know the Hebrew. You gotta know Jewish history, so to speak. Yep. You gotta work no current events. Yep. You gotta know prophecies, man. Yep. You know. All right, yeah, come on, your precept. Yeah. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore give wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Yeah, with all with all thy getting, get understanding, because you can open up the book, but if the Holy Spirit 
the Holy Spirit's not dealing with you, you're not going to be able to understand. You're not going to be able to break down these scriptures. All right, because the word was only given to the servants of prophets. And now you're starting to see that it's the Israelite thing is being so big that now they got to have report, uh, support groups. They got to have articles how to deal with an Israelite, man. You, you, you just can't come into an Israelite group. You just can't walk up, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm zealous about the, the Lord Jesus. Now you got to be well studied in Hebrew. You got to know the Greek, all right? You got, you got to know the prophecies. Oh, yeah. An example of that is that dude that came a few weeks ago, that Edomite. Uh -huh. yeah. He's trying to go in, he's going into the, he's on the blue letter. Yeah, where, yeah, the, where the blue letter come from? Yeah, yeah. You know, the, uh, the spirit opt on the apostle of the heart to, to yeah. push that to the, the congregation. Yeah. Now you got Esau coming up with the blue, blue letter, letter, but he still got cut up. Yeah. His, his whole continent just filled, man. He looked like he wanted to kill himself. Yeah. Yeah, because with that understanding, uh, through the spirit of, through the spirit and power, how by Shema Shai, we can tell if the blue letter's going off, man. These other guys, they don't, they don't have that through, through the apostle elder to heart. All the apostles on down we can know we know because if it doesn't line up with the scriptures then it's off right it doesn't line up with the holy spirit it's off man you know mm -hmm. it's like the scriptures say uh rightfully dividing the word of truth right. you yeah know? it says a workroom that needeth not yep, to be yep, ashamed yep, yep. matter of fact go ahead and pull that because they're coming at us because they want us to they want us to pretty much repent to them and be ashamed of what we're teaching you know because because really what we teach is crazy to the world Okay, we, we believe that UFOs are gonna come and, and abduct us as black men in there. Okay, that the, the, well, even the, the, the concept of, of Yahweh Shai, man. That's why when uh, Paul was talking to those, uh, to those dudes at Athens, at Mars Hill, they were bugged out. They were like, what? They said it, it, seemed, to them, it seemed to him strange what he, what he was preaching. All right, so a man is, is dying for you and then you just believe on him and that's how you get everlasting life? Because it's super spiritual, man. It's too spiritual for this world. That's why they couldn't couldn't receive it. So a lot of so a lot of uh, a lot of men are ashamed of the gospel, man. They're ashamed to bring out the correct doctrine. And some of these uh, pastors, they've read these scriptures that we go into, but they know that it'll offend their congregation. They know that they know that uh, they'll be ashamed to confess themselves to be Christians. So they put it to the side. You know, say and something. The, uh, the fact that Yahweh shot being a so-called black man. Right. Yeah. Right. People can't fathom that a uh, so-called black man would do that for his nation, man. Yeah. You know, see these grimy niggas out here, you yeah, know. Right. Yeah, because what we teach, yeah, if you don't, if you're not in the truth, if you just take a a, a step outside of it, it's crazy what we preach. But it's the truth, you know. <laughs> it's it's actually it's actually true. You know? Uh, you got some more? Hold on. Yeah, okay, and you had some? Second Timothy. Yeah, yeah, and then not to like you got, yeah. Second yeah. Timothy 2 and 15, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. Yeah, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, because we don't we don't study for other brothers or for the apostles and elders so, so we can get like a pat on the back. Oh yeah, you've been studying. No, nah, we're studying to get, uh, like, like people say in the world, closer to the Most High. Our, our, we're working out our personal relationship with the Heavenly Father. That comes through what? Through studying, man, because then you're approved. That that means that you're serious, man. The Heavenly Father, because the Heavenly Father is looking for serious men to serve him. Yeah. Okay, he's not looking for dudes who just is just lackadaisical. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it one week, and then the next week I'm not being double-minded. No, nah, study to show thyself approved in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. Okay, go ahead. It says a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, because this is work. Yep. Okay, go, doing doing these lessons, it's time consuming. Like niggas say in the world, time is money. That's true, but it's all about what you value. See, we value the kingdom to come. We don't value this present kingdom. That's why the Spirit's on brothers to, to put out so much work, man. That's why, that's why when decrees come out, okay, you gotta do two videos, three videos a week. A lot of brothers are already doing it, man. Okay, because we're workmen that, workmen that need if not to be ashamed. We're not ashamed of the gospel. And there's been plenty of people I'm speaking for myself that has seen me out here on the highways and hedges that I still got to deal with, man. And I'm not ashamed. What were you doing? I was preaching. You know? Leave it at that, man. Because Why? Because we're, uh, we're fully persuaded in our own mind that this is the truth, man. See, these, these Christians, they're not fully persuaded, man. That's, they're not fully persuaded. That's why they don't go hard like that, man. Because they, they don't go into the scriptures, man. So there's no way they could be fully persuaded because they don't know what the whole role is talking about, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, um, uh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth. Yeah, what is that talking about? Going precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and, de and there a little. Because you can't read the scriptures like a novel. Yeah, like, the, like, like a woman, she'll, she'll read it like it's uh, uh, the secret, okay? Or uh, what's that one, what's that one little freak? Fr freak? 50 shades. Huh? 50 shades. Yeah, 50, I guess uh -huh. 50 shades or something, man. Like 
Nah, man, you gotta go preset the palm preset. Here a little, there a little. All right, you got something, brother? Yeah, this uh, Second Corinthians 13 and eight. Beautiful, yeah, that, that's the spirit, yeah, yeah. yeah. It says, for we can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Yeah, you can't do anything against the truth, but for the truth, all right? And, and, and the fight that you're conducting is not gonna, you're not gonna win. You're just gonna bug yourself out. Like I was listening to Pastor Gene Kim earlier. That dude, see, see now they're trying to make concessions. They're like, all right, well, black people are in the Bible. Well, you know, the first Christians were black. And they went, he went to Acts the eighth chapter concerning uh, Philip, which he wasn't even an Ethiopian. He was a man of Ethiopia, yep, all right? Yep. He was an Israelite. He was an Israelite. And now, now, and he was fulfilling what? A prophecy. Matter of fact, somebody get me uh, Zephaniah, the third chapter, and then we'll jump back to the article. Yeah, but that dude, he just straight up blasphemed. Why? Because he was presented, he was presented with the truth and he couldn't, he couldn't handle it. So what does he have to do now? He has to, he has to butcher the scriptures. Here he went in the Song of Solomon. He said, well, see, look, that just separated her from the rest of uh, Israelites. No, it don't say that, but he just said they just made that up, man. And so now he's just making his destruction sure, man. Now it's going to be worse for him, man. Now you can't be in the house, Gene Kim, okay? Yeah, this is like the time where we were rebuilding the temple and you had all yep. these heathens trying to get in there, man. Yep. But they saw that we were rebuilding the temple and they wanted their hand in there. But now they see we're, we're such a separatist group. But now you, there's there's certain guidelines that you have to that you have to meet in order for you to become an Israelite. And then the Most High is not even dealing with all Israel, man. Yeah. Okay? So now what do they have to do? They have to hinder the building. Yep. And that's what people are not used to, all right? Because they're, the, they're used to the nation of Israel being all-inclusive. All right, everybody can come to a damn powwow. All right, everybody can be a rapper, hip hop, niggas will, niggas will embrace you. Yeah. Nah, this is different, man. Yeah, because uh, Jake's, Jake's welcoming, man. Yeah. But not, 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 <laughs> not these Jake's. Why? Because we're not running this, man. All right, the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is running this. Because right, brothers, you know, we, we, we can be friendly with uh, heathens. Okay, yet, yet this is business, man. This is spiritual business. All right. This is this is this 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 word is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, that was it on that. Yeah, Zephaniah. Zephaniah three and, uh, three and uh, nine. Okay. Zephaniah it's ten. I actually. Ten, yeah. Zephaniah three and ten. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring my offering. Was and dispersed? Have you thinking about what Gentiles? Yeah. The dispersed that the dispersed Israelites into all these other nations. So when you read uh, Acts the eighth chapter. The, the 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 eunuch of Ethiopia, that was a fulfillment of what the brother just read in Zephaniah, and and really that whole video, Lord's so I might I might do a response to it. He just he broke like ten things down wrong, man. He you could tell, and you could tell he knew he was being a demon too. Yeah, yeah man, I do, and, and and all these dudes are doing is going on on going in on Israel. Pastor Stephen Anderson, Gene Kim, uh, uh, James White the Edomite. Why? Because this is the biggest threat. This is the biggest threat to this world. And these people, they love the world, man. Yeah. They're, they're content with this world going on the way that it is. And what we're preaching is uh, is putting their sanity and their livelihood in jeopardy, man. Okay, because what are we saying? You're going into slavery. You're going to have to worship Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the so-called black men. There's no salvation for you. The only capacity you're going to be in the kingdom is as a slave, man. Yeah. They don't want to hear that. I wouldn't either. But hey, guess what? It's the truth, man. America's gonna be destroyed. Oh, America's yeah. gonna be destroyed. Yeah, because in America you can you can shit on niggas all day. Okay, you could be a demon. You could be a, a, a sodomite. Okay, you can eat whatever you want. You could pretty. You could be a Christian. You could be a Christian in America. All right, there ain't gonna be no. There ain't gonna be no. Uh, no. No uh, American Christians. Uh, there ain't gonna be no American Christians in the kingdom. Okay. But it's got something. I have one thing if bro's and I agree. Go ahead. Bro. If not, I'll, I'll read some more. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Want to read some more? Yeah. yeah All right. <laughs> okay, so without preparation, yeah, yeah. One particular cult Christian apologist should certainly be prepared to engage are the Black Hebrew Israelites, which is no such thing as a Black Hebrew. Oh, yeah. We're Hebrew Israelites of uh, varying colors, mainly brown. Yet you also got certain brothers who got leprosy. Certain brothers look like Moabites, Japhites, so on and so forth. Okay, black, there ain't no black people. All right, even them dark-ass Sudanese, they ain't even black. Yeah. Okay, they're just very dark brown, and then some of them purple. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. It's uh, Jeremiah 12 and 9. 
my heritage is not to me as a speckled bird. That's right. And when you look up and you look it up, it's dealing with color. It's actually dealing with color. Kind of different colors. Yeah. And you see that. You see that in the camps. You got certain brothers that are Turkish. All right, you got uh, in this camp, brothers are varying shades of brown. Okay. You got certain brothers, you got certain Jakes that look like, uh, they look like they're Thai. Look like Filipinos. Okay. Go ahead. The birds round about or against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. Yep, all right, now I'm gonna keep reading. One particular cult Christian apologist should certainly be prepared to engage are the black Hebrew Israelites, BHI. You know, they always got it in parentheses. Like it's a gang. Yeah, like, we, yeah. like we be throwing up BHI. Yeah. Like we got like we got a tatted like we got like we got like we got the hood tatted on our forearms. Yeah, yeah. Like we, they start like they started they say like we start the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah we put up BHI. Yeah, BHI, you know. A lot, a lot of brothers can't even be in it. Right. Yeah. That, that don't make no sense. That don't even make no sense. They can't even get that point right. Yeah, they say all these so called Latinos in the camp. I can see this is ten years that, ago. That shows you that we're we're just we're blacks to them. Yeah, we're just the then but niggas. None but. <laughs> the whole camp in LA, the Northerners bringing it out in Spanish. Yep. Yeah. yeah. They, they're, they're all it's all different shades of brown, man. Right. You got brothers with woolly hair, right? And you got brothers that was ginger, you know? Yeah. Red, reddish hair. You yep. got all kinds of looking brothers, different brothers, man. That's on the Span Spanish speaking side. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, that's a, so that, that BHI is just a, fe a federal government term, man. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's a term to demonize, yeah. to demonize us. It's in a Project Megiddo, too. Kind of. Like yep. Hebrew Israelites. Kind of. Yep. Oh, Our, that's also what Sakari identifies himself as. Right? Exactly. Yep. He ain't even black. He's a gang member, so that's why he throws it up. He, there, throws, he it up. throws up that BHI. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Hoover colors. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to convert, probably trying to convert Hoover saying. niggas to BHI. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. now you could be BHI slash Hoover. Nigga friendly. Yeah, yeah, nigga <laughs> friendly. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a that's a that's a Christian spirit, man, to make to make it friendly to everybody. Okay. It's Catholic, which means uh, universal. All right. Uh, without preparation, and somebody give me Luke twenty one and fifteen. Without preparation, a believer can walk away discouraged, <laughs> yeah, deflated, yeah. deflated, and even dejected. Because of the strenuous effort of persuading this unique cult. Cut. <laughs> cut, in other words. Yeah, in other words, you're gonna get cut. You're gonna get sliced, you're gonna get sliced and diced. Are right, you gonna have nightmares? Like that, there's one this one chick she used to come up against us, and then the demons was getting at her so hard she had to uh she had to sleep with a Bible under her uh, pillow, man. She was a pizza at the time as well. Yeah, she's a young gal. Okay, come on. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. Beautiful. For though, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Yeah, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Like, yeah, there's one guy on, a, uh, on the comic board, me and the brother I now was doing a show, saying we got soft, we got, we got defeated. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah. Like, he, he's like, yeah, we got it. Pretty much, he, he's in a revolutionary spirit, okay. you know, in that zealot spirit, in that Sakari spirit, you know? Yeah, go, go, go. We got to do, we got to do more. What is he All we got to do. What is he doing? What the hell is he doing? Yeah, they, you know, uh, commenting on, yeah, commenting on that every one of my. I haven't seen a Wallace Wynn video in a while, man. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Wallace Wynn hasn't had enough footage. Yeah, talking shit with a with an itchy do rag on. Yeah. All right. That's all he's doing, eating Pop Tarts. All right. Go ahead, brother. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. <laughs> For the way. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Yeah, we we all we gotta do, is somebody come up, all you gotta do is go into the scriptures, man. All right, we'll we'll insult you and go into the scriptures, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> straight like like niggas in LA. Straight like that. Alright, go ahead. But mighty through the to the most side to the putting down of stronghold. Yeah, what's a stronghold? Um so-called white Jesus, which is really uh a Serapis Crispus. Christus. Excuse God me. loves everybody. God loves everybody. Christian. That's Christian. And I actually thought that when I was a kid. Yeah. I sincerely yeah, thought yeah, God yeah. loves everybody. Yeah, you see a retard. You know, oh, you can't yeah, be you mean. Can't laugh, can't yeah, yeah. You right. see somebody. You see some ugly Edomite. Yeah. You know, you your spirit is like, I don't like this person. Yeah, but yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah, you have you having these internal struggles. Okay. You yeah, know, so, uh, what your parents tell you, mainly your mom. Yeah, your mama. Like, your old yeah. ass grandmama. God don't like ugly. Or what if your God kid, don't like ugly? Or, or what if your kid came out like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's the one. yeah that. Yeah. Oh shit, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't face it. Yeah. But that says, and that's not in the scriptures, man. Yeah. But you associate that with Christianity. God don't like ugly. You actually think that's in the Bible. Now yeah. you read, you looking for, you do a blue letter search. That ain't in there, man. That's not in there. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Casting down imaginations 
and then, casting down imagination. That's a wicked imagination that all nations can be saved. Oh, that uh, you can sin. Right. That's that's a that's a heavy stronghold, man. Oh that, yeah. Okay. The law is done away with. Sin is okay now because you under the grace. As long as yeah. you say, uh, I'm sorry, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You say, 10 Hail Marys, you good. Yeah, nah, nah. Pray in so, Jesus' name. Then you go to a pedophile priest, confess, confess your sins in front of him. Yeah, that's God crazy. Hates sin, but not the God hates yep. the sin, yep. not the sinner. Yep. That dude, and that guy's just a sick the whole time. Yeah. He, he, he gives you penance, supposedly. Yeah. What's yep. that? That's, 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 You're repenting to him. You're repenting to the devil. Satan. Yeah. And that's what they want. And that's what these Christians want. They want us to, pretty much what they want, they want us to repent to them. They want us to say, you know what? I'm sorry. Rape isn't in the scriptures. Yep. Okay, now nah, you're right. All nations can be saved. We went off. No, nigga. No, this is the doctrine. Okay? This is the truth. Not the truth. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of the Most High. And that's all these people do, man. Because they'll say that we're proud. Of, no, we're not proud. We're, we're the humble people, man. Because we're humbling ourselves to the will of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. We're reading the scriptures and saying, no, we believe in the scriptures. You people are proud, man. Yeah. All right, you're exalting yourself against the knowledge of the Most High. Because the scriptures say one thing, and you're saying a complete opposite thing, man. So you, you guys are the, uh, the proud. Uh, you, you guys are condescending, man. Yep. Okay? We're just pointly, uh, we're just correctly pointing out your uh, your iniquities, man. Okay, yeah. and your false doctrine. And despite what scripture you bring out to them, they still keep that mind state. You could show them a scripture that completely contradicts everything that came out their mouth. They're like, no, no, no. They'll quote one scripture, and then that's the end all, be it all. Yep. You know, cherry picking. Yep. Which they, have they accuse us of. Up. Right. Well, really, we go precept upon precept. What they'll do is they'll bring out one scripture. We'll we'll bring out a script, and then we'll tie it in with another scripture to gain understanding, as it is written through thy precepts. I get understanding. You got some Mainly more? this whole Christianity doctrine is really the basis of it or the foundation of it is one scripture, John 3 16, man. Right. That's their go to scripture. So every, every, uh, you can, their misinterpretation of that scripture is uh, what makes the doctrine of it. Every scripture they go to, they use that as a basis. Yep. Okay, Gentiles and, and Jews and Greeks. Okay, see John 3 16 in the world. Yep. You know? Yep. That's it. Yeah, I got I got two scriptures. Okay, let him finish that. Yeah. And bringing to captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach, and having it in readiness to revenge all disobedience, disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Yeah, and they're dis they're, they're disobedient, man. Hmm. If they're really in order, all right, them heathens, they would come before. They would say, you know what, you're right. You'd be cursing out. You'd be like Achior. You'd be cursing out these other heathens. You'd be like, hey, don't 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 come against them. What they're saying is true. I know the history. Okay, then you'd be like, man, I, I, I wish I have, I, I can have some favor bestowed upon me. All right, go ahead. Yeah, this is Hebrews 4 and 12. That's it. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And that's pretty much what this dude is, just said, man. For the word uh, is quick and powerful and sharp, sharper than any two-edged sword. Because what happens when they come up? Uh, and, and, I, and I quote. <laughs> and I quote. Uh... Uh, without preparation, a believer can walk away discouraged, deflated. When you deflate it, man, like the air went out of you, man. Through. You're through, yeah. Yeah. I'm, somebody say, hey, hey, how you doing? I'm deflated. You're like, God damn. And yeah, well, yeah, you got nothing You juiced out, man. Yeah, yeah. You ain't got no juice. You ain't got no sauce, man. You lose the spirit, man. Yeah, you lost the spirit. You lost the breath. That, that fighting hope. That air. That air. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so. So they, 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 they get disenchanted, man, pretty much. Yeah. They, they walk away discouraged, deflated, and even dejected because of the strenuous effort of persuading this unique cult. Not nah, because what happens is you get persuaded, yeah, and then yeah. you got to get out of there. Then you're like, oh, no, 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 it get too hot. You realize everything you learn is a lie. Yep. yep. You get cut up. We, yep. We, we right, we all wrong. Yeah. And you get cut yeah. up, like yeah. the brother said. Get left all bloody. Yep. Get broke bloody. <laughs> Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Yeah, it hits you where it hurt, man. Yeah. And it deep in your mind. Penetrates your mind. Go ahead. And there ain't no coming back from that, man. Nah. You, 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 you feel mind get cut, your spirit get cut, you through. Yeah. Yeah. And this book, when it's wielded the right way, this is the only book that has the power to do that, man. Mm -hmm. 
they get traumatized. And there's no, there's yeah. no healing. The only way you can heal the wound is you gotta go see the physician, yeah. which is your house side. But if he ain't dealing with you, he ain't gonna see you, man. Yeah, he's you, you gotta up. have insurance. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, who, who your provider? Oh, Satan, I ain't dealing with you. <laughs> we, don't, uh, we don't accept Satan yeah, insurance yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. That's right. And it says, and of the joints and marrow, and a discerner of the thoughts and intent of the heart. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And that's how we know that you guys ain't right. Yeah. Because we bring out the word and it discerns that you ain't right. Because anybody could be cool when you're talking to them on surface level. But when you bring out the scriptures, that, that determines what type of person they are. That they're about the spirit of truth or the spirit of error, man. And majority of this earth, they're about they're they're engulfed in the spirit of error. Y'all yeah. got that Luke 21 you want? Yeah. Yep. And then let's, and then yeah, we go on this for a while. Yeah. So we'll, we continue this at crap. Yeah, we yeah. probably will. Cause it's like it's, it's all these points, you know. It's a lot of points too. Yeah, this is like a three hour sit down, really. Uh, you know? Yeah, but yeah, Luke, bring that out in Luke. Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which yeah. all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Yeah, it's impossible, man. It's impossible to come against this this doctrine. Yeah, because uh before we even uh, commented on videos or even thought about going out, we, we looked into everything. You know, I know I did. I looked into everything, man, for like three, four straight months, like a damn knot, just up. 18 hour days, just researching, researching. And I came to the conclusion this, that this was the truth, man. Yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah, it was what, what? November, what? Got real serious. What? Yeah, it was around November. I just looked, that's all I was doing. I was like, damn, this is. Yo, you looking for a loophole, but you can't find one, man. Got some? Yeah, Come on. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and 8. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Yep. He says, yep. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy Ooh. and to throw down to build and to plant yeah throwing down throwing down strongholds yeah. you know that's it and that's what we're set up to do okay let me read a little bit and then we'll get the last precepts and then we're gonna, we're gonna head to camp and uh and hopefully we uh we're we'll, we'll be used to deflate <laughs> and deject and discourage spiritually it's not for you it's not for you it's not it's not your law that precept uh john 4 and 22 it says yeah. you worship you know not he said you worship you know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the jews that's that's plain man and that's right that's right out of the savior's mouth man yeah. so how can you contradict how can you contradict what he says how you gonna tell him who he coming back to save? No, no, you gotta save me. No, he just he just said that salvation is of the Jews, which he's a Jew. He's coming back to save his people. We'll tell you that in Matthew, the first chapter. Okay. All right, but uh, you, you, we're gonna keep reading. Okay. All right, let me uh, let me read a little bit of this and then we'll jump back. So I want I want to get through at least this first pra uh, paragraph. Black Hebrew Israelites, which again were Israelites, are often very well studied in the Bible, equipped with historical trivia and familiar with frequent objections. And he's saying that trivia, which means, trivia means you trivialize something. Oh, it's not that important. No, it's very important what we bring out, man. All right, because it's, it's vital, it's vital to the Christian doctrine. Yeah, That's why we- are asking questions like, we ask questions like, okay, who was ruling during the time of, of, of our Lord? What was the emperor of Rome? They don't, know, they don't know what's going on, man. Yep. We actually look into that, but to them, that's trivial. Or in, through the Spirit, what they're referring to is Middle Age, Middle Ages history. Exactly. Because, because what did they say? Oh, that's the white man's book. But then when we when we go in and we bring out the icons, we say, no, those are actually so-called black men. King James was so-called black man. No, 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 no. But they, they, they say, and they say, no, that's trivial. No, no, that's very vital, man. That's very that's very important, okay? That's the that's the how these, these scriptures, this KJV 1611, how they were uh, pieced together, man. Because you had a lot of different scriptures. Or right, you had Geneva Bible, you had so on and so forth. Okay? So it's important to know what was going on around that time, to put it in proper perspective, in its proper context. And familiar with frequent objections, which is what? John 3, 16. That's the, that's the main objection. And then the dude, he got more objections here, man. And, and, it, and it doesn't apply, man. Okay? They are often very passionate and depending on the individual or cult, can be very condescending. Therefore, a soldier in the faith should be equipped, prepared, 
and bold to share the gospel. <laughs> Below are 10 questions Christian apologists should understand and be able to answer thoroughly before engaging black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, uh, you okay. get your shit right. Before yeah, you, come up. you gotta you, come equipped. Which you can come right. You, it, it don't matter, man, because you don't got the correct. You can bring out these scriptures because I looked through them, but you don't understand what that's saying, man. And we do, and we can hit. And we can hit you with a precept that'll give you understanding, and then you you have to leave because then you'll start to get persuaded, man. And that's what happens. Like that Edomite. That's why he eventually left because he was like, man, it set in that what we were feet. saying was true. He got defeated, defeated, deflated, 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 and discouraged. discouraged. He was okay. true. Triple D. <laughs> As the armor you, you so-called Christians got on, it got holes in it, man. Paper armor. You ain't got the armor that speaks about in uh, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, man. And y'all just walking in like gasoline-drenched clothing. Right? <laughs> right, to the fire. right to the fire, man. You get blown up. It's double. Okay, I'm sorry, brother. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, St. John 4 and 23, it says, But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Yeah, and that's us, man. We're the true worshipers. We believe that through the spirit, you know? Okay? And um, and the fact that none of you people can contradict what we say proves that what we're saying is we have to be uh, the, the true the true worshipers, man. Hey, because uh, we have one individual, I'm not even going to say his name, he comes up every week or every two weeks, and he never, he never makes a point. He never gets a point right, man. And then what happens? He's like, yo, no, you're right, you're right. But then he tries to go into something else, man. Why? Because he's not a he's not a true worshiper. Okay. Yep. It says for the Father seeketh such to worship him. It says the most high is a spirit, and they that worship him, worship him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yo, and then that's another scripture that'll hit you with. See, he's a spirit. He ain't a man. But then it tell you in Daniels that he's a man. Okay? He's a man of war. Okay. I also tell you that he's a man that he should not lie. That's it. That's it. Man, it doesn't change. Yes, yeah, spirit, spirit. There you go. That's right. All right. Yeah, you got the little, the little memes. That's saying that's right. <laughs> you people are funny. You people are obsessed, man. Hey, but that's the spirit, though. You watch these, uh, like you watch uh, the new show that came out on Netflix, AD Kingdoms and uh, Empires. Every time during the little council day in the square or whatnot, like before the temple, everybody said, that's right, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. part of our culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. We see, like, Floyd Mayweather up in the gym. They saying that's right. Everyone's saying, oh, they're in the spirit. Yeah. It's Jake, it's Jake's spirit. Yeah, yeah. What is it? What do they say in Spanish? Eso? Así es. Así es. Así es. Eso. 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 All right, so I'm going to read through. I'm going to read through these questions and then. You know, Spirit Allah will we'll go through this probably uh, incrementally, you know, because it's a lot. All right, do you know how and why Christ, why Christ, they say Christ, has fulfilled the law? Okay, so that's one question. And then they got the help, helpful scriptures, which, you know, in the post-productions, you brothers will see. And then they got a helpful book, a helpful book outside of the scripture, okay? Yeah. All you need to do is hit the scriptures and then and, and break it down. But they can't do that, man. Then they got articles. Do you know how he received and translate the Bible? Helpful script. Then he got helpful scriptures, helpful books. Verse three. Do you know the history of the Jewish people? Helpful. They got helpful scriptures. <laughs> okay. And then they got helpful books. Scripture say that uh, it needs no mate. The book needs no mate. Yep. No mate. All right. Uh, verse. Uh, not verse. <laughs> Tripping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Satan. Uh, question four. Do you know the most size or you know God's redemptive plan to save all people and nations? Hopeful scriptures. They don't. They don't, man. Yeah, because it's not in there. It's not in there. <laughs> we got helpful scriptures and articles, got books, helpful books. Uh, question five. Are you competent enough to have a discussion about the Hebrew language? Helpful books. The question six. The, the Hebrew language that, that that crap that them rats speak, that's not Hebrew, man. And nope. you, if you go ask them, they'll tell you that. They speak something called modern Hebrew, which, what does modern mean? New or changed, man. Mm. Our people spoke the ancient Hebrew, which if you go to a so-called Hebrew scholar, they'll tell you that that language doesn't exist anymore, man. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the language That's, is not spoken on this earth unless you find the men of the Lord. What they're speaking out there in the land of Israel, using our characters, right? The Syrian Hebrew, they call it. Uh, they're pretty much just speaking Germanic, uh, yeah. Yiddish, yeah. And even then, uh, those characters weren't the original characters that wow. we used. Yeah. The Paleo Hebrew, you go into the history, 
that uh, language stopped being written after 70 AD. Mm. What happened in 70 AD? That's a question for you Christians out there. Mm. What happened to the Israelites? Mm. Mm. Yeah, remnants of that remnants of that language were found where in West Africa. Yep. This is where we migrated. Over here and, and over here. here. Yeah. There you go. That's right. 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 Okay. Question six: Are you competent enough to have a discussion about racism and racial reconciliation? <laughs> Which I believe this dude's a. Uh, I believe this dude's an Edomite. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna be triggered? Yeah, I believe this dude's an Edomite. I, I believe he's a tear. Uh, so he got helpful scriptures, Deuteronomy 23 and 7, of course. Oh man. He got a helpful book. Played out. A helpful book. Do you have an uh, question seven? Do you have an accurate account of the transatlantic slave trade? Yeah. They got a helpful. Well, you, you know what they're gonna say with that, though. You know, you got an accurate account. Oh, you sold your own people. You can't be Israelites. You know. Mm -hmm. And we, we see through you, you devils, man. Yeah. You already know what angle y'all coming with. Yeah. All right. Have you uh, question eight? Have you consulted the best commentaries on Deuteronomy? Need commentary. Eat of my commentaries. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they said, yeah, no man shall buy you. Yeah, it's a yeah, helpful see? script. Yeah, yeah. Like. <laughs> I told you, man. But see, see, we, we, we know that the angle of you, you devils, man. Well, what did they say? Would you go back up? They said that we know. Uh, let me pull it back up. Black Hebrew Israelites are often very well studied in the Bible, equipped with historical trivia, and familiar with frequent objections. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so you got you got that right, man. That's why we talk to you condescendingly, man. Okay. We know you don't know nothing. Yep. And you got the helpful books. Question nine. Are you aware of the black presence in the Bible and church history? You know, helpful scriptures. Sons of Ham. Oh, boy. Nimrod, yeah, Caleb, Caleb, Josh, Jephro, the mixed ancestry of Jesus, hermetic descent from Tamar, Rahab, Bathsheba, and Ruth. Oh man, he gone. Gone totally off. Well, that's what that one dude tried to come up with. Uh, he said Rahab was one of the descendants of, uh, not descendants, she was helped bring forth one of his descendants. Right, right, right. And it's a different, it was a different word, man. Yeah. Oh. The, the word is Rahab when you look it up, look it up, but Different it doesn't person. specify who it is. Which one? Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's not. It's Rahab. Yeah. You know? Common Israelite name. Well, common name for that region. Yeah. yeah. You know, because Rahab wasn't a uh, wasn't an Israelite. Yeah, more than likely she probably was a heathen because uh, the heathen women are put in the, the genealogy. Like Ruth. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Rahab. But don't specify, so they can't say that. that that's a, that yeah, there's no documentation. Like the origin. Yeah, there's no documentation of her. It don't. It don't. It's all speculation. Yeah, yeah, because it's. Words. Yeah, because the scripture. Yeah, because the scriptures don't. The scriptures don't uh, say that. It talks about her house being saved. being saved, but it doesn't say that. Then somebody popped her, and then that was a descendant of. Because 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 David's um because you go into um we talked about David, it didn't mention her. Yeah. You know. And when we say saved, we ain't talking about that Rahab's house is gonna get salvation. No, at that point, she got spared. From she the got spared. Of Jericho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got spared. They, they, they had taken a run with it. Right, right. Yeah, like, 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 like house gonna be saved in the nuclear destruction. Wow, man. Just no. in that day. Yeah. I was specific for that when the Israel went in there and killed everybody. Yep. Right. Yeah, because we're fair. You know, she gave us some intel. She snitched. Yeah. All right, she got rewarded. She's a race trader. She was a race trader. She harbored. <laughs> she harbored. Uh, she harbored men of the Lord. So you know, we're we're a fair people. And they made an oath with her. The yeah. Yeah. Spies. Yep. They made an oath in the name of your household that had to be kept. Huh? Yeah, just like with the Gibeonites. Yep, yep. You know, that's another that's another example. Because we're, we're we're men of our word. We're just and fair men. Just and fair men. That's right. All right. Uh, last but not least, ten. Do you know the camp you are reaching? <laughs> <laughs> You got helpful books and go to the, go to the page, tent, man. Boy, you already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude, I through the spirit, this dude, the Edomite, man. Yeah. Which camp are you dealing with? He ain't right. <laughs> uh, I don't think this dude. This dude. This dude. Yeah, this dude, the terror, man. He ain't right. All right, so yeah, Lord's will we'll, we'll expound on that a little more at, at another time. But, you know, hopefully, you brothers edify. Uh, again, call Halal, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Kodash Raka, Barakatam. Okay, to all you sincere listeners. And uh, death to America and these uh, false churches. All right. Shalom. Shalom.